Start recording. All right, so here's this video. I have to do this video because people recommend to beginners all the time that they learn micro Kubernetes uh, as a way to practice on their home labs and, and to get good and to certify and to become a production Kubernetes admin and all that. And I think it's a huge mistake to recommend to somebody to learn micro Kubernetes. And this is just after doing a lot of research on my own. Uh, I may change my mind tomorrow, but as of today, micro Kubernetes is a distribution that's sensible defaults from Canonical who made, you know, your uh, Ubuntu and everything to specifically for tiny devices. And so they made a lot of, of they, 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 they pulled a lot of the weight out of it. So, and that's fine. That's super cool and everything, but it's not what you want if you're trying to learn Kubernetes. If you're trying to learn Kubernetes, you want to be able to, you know, have kind, which I made another video about. So you can run a single node cluster in Docker with a private registry. Uh, great. You know, you can get used to the object API. And that's what we're doing during training. And the other, the other thing, the bigger training that you want to do is you want to set up a home lab on hardware that is using the actual Kubernetes, like not this micro Kubernetes thing. But unfortunately, uh, I think a lot of people recommend not, you know, mean, being mean or, or wrong or anything. They just, they recommend micro Kubernetes, but they don't realize like, so for example, uh, the, you know, Vera here who I work with, it was reminding me that micro Kubernetes uh, doesn't even have uh, etcd. And if you don't know what that is yet, you will, <laughs> right? It uses SQLite instead. Now that, that might be super cool. I think it's kind of cool, but that is not what you want to learn. And it would definitely not be something that would make you a better ad administrator uh, going, going forward. So, so it, you know, it's designed, uh, designed for small, uh, for small IOT, uh, implementations, edge Kubernetes, right? Uh, uh, it's really not good, uh, not the actual Kubernetes at all. I mean, it has all the same APIs and stuff uh, uh, that would run in production, uh, in production, right? So, so that's it. Uh, K3S is, uh, K3S is uh, a tiny, OS that can run on your Raspberry Pis, uh, and that's 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 a different question, I suppose. So if you say, uh, I mean, I suppose, I mean, it's not really related, right? I, I don't think that that's really related because yeah, you know, that's more about the operating system and less about and less about the, the the you know the cluster API parts, the main controllers and everything. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video now, but I just wanted to to put this out K3 OS right. K K3 OS. Yeah, sorry. That's the one he's talking about. Yeah. So let's, we won't talk about that one right now in this video. So, so just stick with it, stick with, you know, plan on using Cuba ADM to, you know, eventually install Kubernetes. I haven't done it yet, but that's my plan. And then, you know, actually learn all the other things that you need to do to, to deploy the infrastructure for, for an actual Kubernetes cluster. And, and in my case, I'm going to, it looks like I'm going to be going with Ansible for that. But other things like, am I going to have, you know, network boot on my Raspberry Pis? These are all infrastructure questions that will also give you extra, you know, employability that have nothing to do with this very specific. Now, if you want, if you want to learn micro Kubernetes because you just want to deal with like edge Kubernetes deployments for some reason, because maybe you've got your electrical engineer on IoT or something, maybe there's a reason to do that. But I think in general for beginners, you should stay with trying to put all the pieces together of, you know, pretend like you are your own kind of company of one and how, you know, these are the resources you have available, hardware resources uh, and or, you know, cloud, maybe make your own hybrid cluster. Uh, that's a goal of mine. So, but, but micro Kubernetes isn't really in the mix there.